even have news now? Pretty's out. <laughs> Ciao. That was it. Short of stream. No, seriously. Uh, so, hi, Dave. Hello. How are you? I'm good, you? Good. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Let's say hi to, uh, to Bjorn, that is right here, taking care of the stream. By the way, guys, uh, Twitch had some issues a little bit earlier today. Uh, if the stream goes down, we're going to try to come back up, but uh, we're going to do our best. Uh, it is a server issue, if I'm not mistaken, on Twitch side. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, that's why it was a bit laggy earlier. Uh, as a you, Clyde, Luzi, Kidawid, <laughs> McLean, Murph, Ryuri, Sassy, Shiropu, uh, Steven, Suggestive, Sujan, I mean Faded, and Warfidus. Thank you for being here today, guys. Thank you for your help. We and thank you to everyone that's actually here for the Twitch today. <laughs> Instead of you know, the playing. unicorn, yeah, no, the unicorn is it was a one time thing, so you guys are, are gonna have to, to to tolerate me like this. That's fine, all right. Um, <coughs> basically, we have a couple of like really, really short news and announcement, and then we're gonna jump right on to uh, what actually is interesting for most of you. Um, I'm back from TwitchCon, hi, it was great. It was amazing. Uh, Matu right now and Alex are in China at WePlay. Um, we also have another thing with, uh, we had a couple of bands, like a band wave that happened. Mm. Uh, we are currently talking with EAC and everything to figure everything out. Uh, that's all I can say right now for this matter. Then, that is the next question That's that we it. know everybody's going to ask right. when on console. Um, don't expect it before uh, November. That's all I can yeah. say today. Yeah. So uh, basically, about you know, it. on console, uh, we have to go through CERT. It's a lengthy process. Uh, so uh, we'll have to wait a little bit more to get it there. Volume is too low, or we're talking to. We're talking. <laughs> whispers. <laughs> whispers. So uh, that's uh, okay. Let's take it up a notch. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> we're breaking. So, we're breaking I'm Bjorn's sorry. level. I'm over sorry. There. Okay. Let's go. So we're. That's it. That's all the news. Yes. Uh, right. That was basically it. We have a Q and A later, but we're gonna talk about the new chapter. Yeah. 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 That that was one of the top question actually. Is it a chapter? Is it just Freddy? Is it because we we just did Letterface? That's a standalone killer. But yeah, this one is a is a, a chapter so we have uh, we have the map we have the killer and we have the survivor so um, it's a full chapter it's a full chapter ah, perfect. and it is uh, yeah it is on steam like we said it is a paid dlc uh, and, you know a license uh, we're obligated um do we know the price actually i you know i don't, I don't have it <laughs> so go check it out um, you know what I'll, I'll check that out all right, while thanks. you're, you're uh, okay so uh, we do have a spotlight, uh, but before we uh, we play it, I mean, it's, it's online, you probably already uh, watched it, I don't know, uh, but I wanted to go over the power of Freddy and uh, the various new perks that we're, we're adding. Uh, and then we'll go through uh, questions, uh, Q&A uh, that you might have about the chapter and the content and the lore of the content and everything else. So Freddy, Freddy's power is obviously to control dreams, so to pull survivors into the dream world uh, where he is almighty and can um, see them and kill them easily. Uh, so the, uh, the way the power works is that while the survivors are uh, awake, they cannot see Freddy. So Freddy can still interact with the world, he can destroy pallets, which you'll see if you're awake, but you won't be able to see him. Uh, the only thing that can hint about his position is actually that he's in their area, it's not like a direction you'll not know exactly where he is is the uh, nursery rhyme it's gonna start playing so it's it's a little bit similar to the untress lullaby uh, but it's really it's a 2d sound meaning that you can know about the, the range that he is close to you but you can't know exactly where he is um, then Freddy will use his power to pull the survivor into the dream state so it will make them sleepy uh, at that point, the survivor has seven seconds to try and escape Freddy. 
because uh, while you're falling asleep, uh, there's there's How no way. How do you know you're falling asleep, Dave? Well, you see the, you see your head bobbing. You see that your character is uh, starting to uh, become a little bit drowsy. That he's gonna fall asleep, and you can also see uh, Freddy appear in that state. So just like just like in the film, sometimes Freddy will appear when you're about to go to sleep. What they call the micro sleep. Um, so this is also this is also going to happen after the seven seconds. As a survivor, you will be you fall asleep. You will be put into the dream world, uh, and in the dream world, there's a, there's there's a new setup. It looks uh, drastically different. Uh, Freddy is visible to you, and obviously can attack you and do uh, everything he wants to you. Hook you, obviously. Uh, so you need to find a way to exit the dream world. There's various action that will allow you to get out. Another survivor can attempt to wake you up. For example, there's other ways for you to discover how to wake up. Uh, and um, getting put on the hook is also going to wake you up. So this is part of Freddy's, uh, Freddy's loop. In the dream world, while you are not in the terror radius of Freddy, he can see your outline at all time. There is also... An so when you drop a chase with him, he sees he you. He sees you. So you really, really, you're, as a survivor, you're, you're really weak into the dream world. You're also slow down on most of the action, uh, not movement, but interacting uh, with generator, healing, generator. sabotage, uh, all of this is drastically slowed down, uh, so it's not a good idea to stay in the dream state. Anything else? Yeah, so yeah, see the outline so I can see you uh, everywhere. While you're in this terror radius, you still, as a, as a survivor, you have an effect on you that shows that you're uh, in the dream state. Uh, so this is also something that he can use to spot you, you know, easily. Do other survivors know that you're, you're in the Absolutely. I mean, you, as a survivor, if you're awake, you'll see other survivor like this, you know, sleeping. <laughs> Even they're sleepwalking. So you'll know that they, they, they need help. You can wake them up. As soon as you wake them up, Freddy can't attack them anymore. So it's a good idea to do so. Um, that is the gist of the power. I mean, there's a lot of details, but I also want people to discover. Yeah, how yeah, to play yeah. We're, we're not gonna tell you like all everything. The, the secrets. Yeah. Um, the survivor that comes with the chapter is Quentin Smith. So it's one of the character in the 2010 movie. Um, actually, this is a question that has been asked uh, quite a couple of times. Uh, you know, which Freddy, which version of Freddy uh, it is? It is the remake version. Uh, it's it, that's just the thing now like it's having the whole Freddy is, is not a thing anymore we, we have to use this guy this is Freddy now um, and why I we didn't choose Nancy as a survivor is because we couldn't get Nancy Thompson we couldn't get the original Nancy that would I mean this is the obvious choice for all the fans um, but I didn't want to use the the new Nancy she, she's not the same she doesn't have uh, the same impact while Quentin is actually a very interesting character, I found, and, and adds a lot to our game. So he was a perfect character to fit into our, our game at this moment. Um, so we'll come to the perks a little bit later. We already presented one, but we should go over the others. Uh, please stop me anytime, so, so, chatting a lot. So why did the, uh, the entity got Freddy into right. the real? This is quite interesting. So. Um, it, it, it's actually pretty cool because with different chapters we learn more about the entity and how it behaves and uh, like for example when we re release Bill we know that Bill comes from uh, you know a, a time where zombies there's a zombie apocalypse so it's like entity now has access to parallel universe um, in this case Freddy Quentin and uh, Badam preschool which is the map got uh, drawn by the entity in Quentin's dream while Freddy was attempting to kill him uh, just after the movie, you know, in the time. Um, so that's pretty cool. The entity can actually come and grasp killer and survivor pretty much everywhere. Um, there you go. That's how it happened. Um, should we go through the perks? Sure. All right. So, Jorn, if you want to put the, the killer perk on the screen, please. All right, so we talked about these last week, but we'll go Let's over them have a, uh, yeah, again. A slight reminder. Exactly. So uh, first one is Fire Up. Oh, in, in big 4K. Yeah. 
and uh, a lot of <laughs> OP posts already. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, th the, the perks are pretty strong. It's, uh, they're pretty cool. So Fire Up is a token system perk. So as the match progresses, you, so more generators are repaired, you get tokens, and the more to tokens you have on this perk, you are faster on some action. These actions are um, not powers, they're only about like uh, core actions that all the killers have. So picking up, uh, dropping, uh, vaulting, destroying generators, destroying pallets. Um, I, think, I think that's pretty much it. I might have forgotten one. Um, so it is uh, quite useful at the, it gets more useful at the end of the match, obviously. Uh, second one is Remember Me. It is an obsession perk. This one is also very cool and also a build up towards the end of the match. So with that one, an obsession is chosen, obviously. Every time you hit that obsession, uh, you add five seconds to the exit uh, gate opening sequence. Uh, up to, I don't remember, 25 seconds, I think? Something like that. Something like that. Yes. Uh, so quite nasty. The twist, though, is that the obsession uh, doesn't have this penalty. Uh, so you need to decide at some point if you're going to get rid of your obsession before it's time to open the game. Uh, last one is Blood Warden. So calls on the entity. Uh, as soon as the gates are opened, the first hook, so this happens only once per match, the first survivor you hook will call the entity to go and block the exit gates for the survivor. So they won't be able to leave at all for a minute. Um, so, and when we're talking exit gate, we're talking not the gate yeah, specifically, beyond. but beyond. So everyone that played killer and are trying to get to survivor know what the entity spikes are. You know, the, these black sticks that appear uh, and uh, stops you from getting uh, deeper than the exit. Is that uh, is that a one-time thing? It's a one-time thing. So okay. it's once per match. So so if they manage to save the person, you manage to catch another one, and you, and you hook hook again. The second the, it's not gonna add time. It's not gonna do anything. So uh, it's just one one hook. Uh, this one is actually really really nasty, uh, <laughs> especially when you're waiting at the gate. You're not sure if you're gonna help someone or not, and sometimes it just pushes you to abandon your friends and just get the fuck out. <laughs> I have a good question here. Uh, yep. Can you have every survivor in the dream world at the same time? Hmm. Absolutely. Actually, uh, this is part of your choice as the killer. Will you, uh, you know, put only one person in the dream world and focus on that person, use that person to lure others, uh, or will you uh, try and attempt to go to towards having more in the dream world? Uh, when everybody's in the dream world, it's harder for them to wake up because a dreaming survivor cannot wake up a dreaming survivor. Only a wake survivor can. Um, so this is really interesting. Sometimes you're, you're in a chase, chasing after someone in a dream world, and you come across another one that's not dreaming. And sometimes it's more alluring to try and can, put that one into the Can you state. escape while in the dream world? So if every yes. thing is open, yeah. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, as soon as you escape, uh, because your your body is still in the real world as well, so all the objects are there for real. Uh, it's just that all actions are really slow in the dream world, even opening the gate. So uh, you know, it gets pretty long and intense. <laughs> um, who was the voice actors for uh, Quentin and and Freddie? Oh, Freddie uh, is Phil. That I know for sure. Quentin, I would guess it's uh, Louis, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, blame McLean. McLean? Sorry, McLean. I always, <laughs> always forget <laughs> which one it is. <laughs> uh, other, uh, another question was, uh, will you be able to see people with empathy? I would assume yes, because you still see the body. Uh, of uh, When you're not in the dream state. Yeah, I mean, the, um, the outline pretty much behave like Like always. a normal game. Um, not necessarily for Freddy, but for the survivors, yeah. Uh, bodies are, again, in the dream world and in the real world at the same time, so the perks will work normally. Can you wake up by yourself? Yes. Uh, well, we're gonna let them figure out how. We're yeah. not gonna give all the keys. Yeah, I mean, uh, the design team, we were writing the tips uh, for the killer 
and loading tips and the tool tips and we set it all and they were like ah, we like a little bit of mystery a little bit of discovery about this so there are ways to wake up I'm not saying how but i'm sure you'll get it it's gonna happen anything else no you do not automatically wake up without that like you don't automatically wake up like oh it's been 20 minutes i've been no. sleeping no no once you're no. sleeping it's for good um will perk like spine chill and prem still proc against freddy uh, yes, yes, they will. Actually, we're very interesting on uh, getting feedback out of this one. Okay. Uh, how slow are our, the action? Really, really slow. Yeah, really <laughs> slow. Really for slow. For a fact, they're painful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still possible. Uh, but you, you, you kind of... You really want to get out of there. You really want to get out of there. So, you know, for the Freddy, uh, as this new... Uh, time before he can interact with you so we're we're adding this so it's part of his power to stay invisible mind game you try to uh get into a location that makes sense to put you to sleep so that he can catch you easily afterwards so that's all part of his power but it adds time uh for the survivor which they you know which we know already that the killer is is always running out of time uh, so when you're in the dream world the balance of this is that you are slowed down um, so if if the killer wants to you know put everybody in the dream world, then uh, the game can be tremendously longer. It gives him a lot tremendously. more time. Tremendously. That's how <laughs> I speak. I speak in offerings and add-ons. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, maybe we can check out the survivor perks. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. can you stop yourself from going into the dream world? No. Once you're uh, you're starting to fall asleep, just like in the films. You can uh, you can't do anything about it. You're gonna go to sleep. All right. So let's switch up to the survivor, survivor. perks. Yeah, there we go. Quentin's perks. So uh, we have the first one here is called wake up. Um, this one is a direct counter to Freddy's perk. So this one allows you to uh, see the exit gate aura. So the the location of the exit gate at all times. So you you. Just, you don't just have the, uh, uh, the pop, the at, pop the, up. at the exit. Yeah, you, you have it at all time. And as soon as you interact with the exit, your aura is shown to everybody else. Uh, including the killer? No, just the yeah. survivor. Just the survivor. Just yeah. making Good sure. point. Good point. Uh, it also makes the door opening sequence uh, faster. So direct uh, counter to Freddy's perk. The second one is called uh, Vigil. Vigil? Is that how we say it? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, and this one is a great support perk. So uh, for yourself and for survivors around you, uh, when you have this, it will make all of the bad status. So uh, if you're, if you're you know, bleeding with uh, hemorrhage, if you're mangled, uh, if you're exhausted, uh, it's going to make these bad status go away faster. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, the last one is the one we presented last week. It's called Pharmacy. This one allows you to search in boxes, uh, chests, faster with less noise, and the first time will guarantee you'll get a med kit. Not the brown one. Not the spoopy one? Not, not that one. Oh. No. Then, because my plan was obviously to get that, get that perk yeah, on my to, survivor. And just to get all the, the spoopy, spoopy no, that's not going to happen. Damn. Um... Wait a minute. I had a good one. Uh, what what what's the terror radius? Because okay, so you guys have to understand that the terror radius is the heartbeat. So for example, the huntress uh, lullaby is not considered as terror radius. No. So what is terror radius is only the heartbeat. All the the rest is different. So uh, Freddy's terror radius and red light are only experienced when you're in the dream world. That's the first thing that's important. And his terror radius is as any other killer. 32 meters. Now the um, the range of the um, nursery rhyme I am not sure of, so I'll ask one of our designer to give us the answer on the Discord so that we can answer you. How do locker work for Freddy? Can he grab you out of a locker if you're not in the dream world? Yeah, he can. So uh, the locker is the only action that could really break Freddy, right? As an, an interrupt because you he can't access to you. So uh, the locker is a free go-to-sleep card. 
So if you're awake, you interact with the locker and you'll fall asleep and he'll grab you instantly. Okay. Um, that was explained perfect. Uh, da, 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 da. Can you check the Discord? See, uh, yes, one, no. sorry. I'm just, uh, okay. There's multiple survivor running vigil stacks. So the, the support perk. Mm. Um, I believe so, yes. We're, we're going to have someone from Design around, right? Or uh, are they actually, come? they should uh, be answering on this channel. On this channel? Yeah. OK. Oh, uh, there it is. I, I, I believe so. Uh, Orvat is, uh, is answering the question. Thank you. <laughs> the answer is believe so. <laughs> Thank you, Orvat. That's great. Will it be for console? Yes, it will. Um, but as we said earlier, do not expect it before November. That yep. that is that is uh, as how far we early can go. as we can, but it's not going to be before Halloween. Will adrenaline remove the sleep state? No. No. It gives you your heal. It gives you everything, right? Yeah, yeah. It works while you're still but in the dream world. Heal. Can he grab you during vault actions? If you're asleep. If you're asleep. Yeah. If you're not, he will use his power to make you sleep. That power can be triggered anytime. Okay, that, that, that's a question that is unrelated to, uh, to, to Freddy, but uh, I'm going to say it. Uh, the no miter. Uh, people are asking if we can start uninjured and then, you know, giving a chance. No. We, we talked about this one. <laughs> Before, in a right. long time. Right. That is not supposed to, that, that is not how the perk was designed. Right. Maybe uh, at this point, since we've seen um, uh, most of the content here, we could just run the spotlight so you know, yeah, yeah. viewers can see what it actually looks like uh, in the game. Hey. Uh, we'll give you a good idea. And, you know, we'll hear Metsir, sweet, sweet voice. Some nightmares will prove difficult to wake up from. They will consume you and actually hurt you. Not mantle scars, but rather deep physical scars created by sharp claws attached to a worn glove. This is the world of Freddy Krueger. Even while he lived, Freddy Krueger was a creature of nightmare for those who truly knew him. Hiding behind a mask of warmth and friendliness, Freddy's actual temperament was known only to his victims. Rather than succumb to his debt, Kruger was offered by demons the chance to continue his killing spree after debt. He became a dream demon, an entity that could enter his victims' dreams and kill them in that world, which would cause their debt in the real world. But now he's in a better place, a place where the line between dreams and reality is even thinner and where his power is truly appreciated. Freddy's power is called Dream Demon. Freddy is invisible to non-sleepers, although he can be heard by paying close attention to the lullaby. When close enough to a normal survivor, Freddy can activate his power to tag him with sleepiness. Once a survivor is tagged with sleepiness, the killer suffers from a minor speed penalty and the survivor is gradually gonna fall asleep. During that time, the survivor's aura is no longer shown to Freddy. This is his chance of hiding or trying to wake up. After a short delay, the survivor falls asleep. He's now in the dream world. He can now see the killer and be hurt by him. The first perk is called Fire Up. The increased pressure of losing your prey fills you with anger and gives you unsuspected motivation. Each time the survivors complete repairs on a generator, Fire Up grows in power and grants speed bonuses to pick up, drop, pallet breaks, generator breaks, and vaults. The second perk is called Remember Me. You become obsessed with one survivor. Each time you hit your obsession, you increase the opening time of the exit gates by five seconds, up to a maximum. The obsession is not affected by Remember Me. The last perk is called Blood Warden. Once per match, when at least one exit gate is opened, hooking a survivor summons the entity to block the exits for all survivors for a moment. While Blood Warden is active, 
auras of survivors located within the exit areas are revealed to you. Quentin Smith is one of the rare people who survived an encounter with Freddy Krueger. He's young, he's resourceful, and he will not give up. Quentin Smith comes with three perks. His first perk is called Wake Up. Once all generators are powered, exit gates are revealed to you. While opening the exit gates, reveal your aura to other survivors within a certain range. While Wake Up is active, you open the exit gates faster. The second perk is called Pharmacy. You have a knack for finding medicine. Searches through chests are faster and the noises they cause along with their hearing distances are reduced. Pharmacy guarantees an emergency med kit on your first completed chest search. The last perk is called Vigil. You watch over your friends even in dire situations. You and your allies within an 8 meter range recover from status effects faster. Even when alive, Freddy Krueger was a creature of nightmares for those that truly knew him. Hiding behind a mask of warmth and friendliness, Freddy's actual temperament was known only to his victims. When those victims were finally heard, it was already too late. Dead by Daylight, A Nightmare on Elm Street is available now. Yeah, so you've also seen uh, the map, the new map in Springwood with Madam's preschool. It's pretty creepy stuff. It's a, it's a cool map as a, it's, it's quite a big building right in the middle of a new suburban map. And the building has, um, has a, a top floor and a basement, uh, a full basement, not just a killer basement. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, does a wake up interaction work with nurses calling? Like a little bit like the uh, the doctor, you know, um, no. snap out of it. So no? So when you're waking someone up, it's not showing up on nurses? No. Okay. Um, other question that is uh, related to the patch notes. Uh, what was the reason for removing slightly and moderately map offerings? Yeah, so I think that you'll start to see uh, more of these um, well, it's not gonna happen a lot, but it's gonna happen. Like retiring old material from the game that isn't quite up to par with the rest. Uh, so we've balanced out the, um, the blood web recently and we've checked the amount of items and, and what, what was lacking, what, where well, there was too what many was things, used, what, was, what was used. And you know, there are so many teams that you can go now, so many offerings related to maps that are not necessarily guaranteed that uh, we thought it would be better to just get rid of, them, rid of them. So in the blood web, you have more chance to have something better. Um, and uh, the only world offering that are gonna stay there is the one that guarantee that you'll go. So so what, what, what would I do with my small map offerings? The, the ones that you the have? The one that right I now? have right now. There's, they still work. They're still gonna work. Yeah, right? they still work. You can keep one as a souvenir if you want, <laughs> but they won't appear in the blood web anymore. All right, perfect. Um, can you see Freddy when he's in the dream world with objective obsession? So if you're not in the dream world, can you see him? Yes. Yes. Okay. No. Yes. I don't oh, know. Oh God. Oh, boy. Huh? I don't remember. Someone can can tell us because Someone we ping or we had this uh, yeah we <laughs> had this, uh, this this debate and different and iteration I, on it and I don't I remember exactly. I absolutely not remember how we ended up. Yeah. This so, discussion. Uh, I just don't so, want to um, say I think it was no. Thank you, Luzi. But uh, Orvat can uh, can can clear up yeah. our mind on that. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, Bjorn also saw a question about uh, the the height of Freddy. Freddy is really short. <laughs> do we do we have uh, okay? No. Why? Why is he? Why is he short? So our big killers, Trapper, Myers, Wraith, they're like 12 feet. You know, they're quite big guys. Freddy is a normal dude. Well, he's, he's tall. He's a little bit taller than the, um, uh, the survivor, but he is a normal human in size. 
So that's why he's smaller. So he has this uh, silhouette that is, um, you know, if there's a lot of fog or it's really dark, uh, you could maybe think it's a survivor sometime. So be careful, especially Ace with a hat. It's a bit like Freddy, except for the claws, obviously. Any other questions? Uh, there's a lot of them. All maybe right. we can show a little bit, uh, just switching up to the roadmap. We're going to go back on Freddy, don't worry, guys. All right. But just uh, switching up real quick to tell you what's next because I've seen a lot of people um, asking questions about it. So Halloween event and Freddy is right now. Um, we're aiming for a Freddy balance patch. We always do that now after we release a new character. So that's the new way we're handling uh, DLC. And I think uh, it's something that is going to stay. So of course we're calling it Freddy Cube, but it's not really, no, it's, it's not a, a cube. It's just a balance after, you know, after a few days that we see everybody yeah. play with him yeah. and, and, and with the new perks and everything, then we can uh, figure out, okay, this and this little tweaks yeah. all over. Uh, we did it for, uh, I think since the doctor. Yeah. So that's something um, we're gonna work on next. Uh, loss of progress fix, what's gonna happen is that uh, Next patch, we're gonna have three percent of our players on our uh, on our system, and if it's stable, we're switching everybody. So that's the plan with it. So I'm excited with this one because it's gonna fix a lot of problem. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going up to Rate Cube and Bloodweb UI improvement. We don't know exactly which one's gonna come first, mm -hmm. but this is uh, what's next. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm yeah, and the batch update, yeah. that's the whole point system mm -hmm. and everything. Absolutely. Uh, so Raid Cube, uh, there's not a lot missing out of there. There's some visual effects that I want to make sure they're they're great, they're on point. Um, Blood Web, where I, I played with it, so the, the new progression is, is really cool. It's much faster to progress, um, uh, easier to understand, and uh, the, the content in the Blood Web also makes way more sense. Um, than what it is. Emblems is still gonna take quite some time, something we wanna test uh, a lot uh, in-house with the designers to be sure that it's uh, balanced properly. All right, um, so that is about, like, and, and that's, that is also the, uh, uh, the same roadmap for, for console, but obviously they, we need to start Freddy first and then uh, yeah. we're gonna go to the rest like that. Uh, about the event also, um, there were crazy rumors about multipliers on Blood Point. I, I heard rumor. Uh, I, I don't know where rumors. it comes from. Anyways, point is, uh, we have a one week event. Uh, it is double Blood Point. Hmm. We did one time a triple and it, ki it kind of broke the game, I don't know, health for a little, a little while. It broke the game. Seriously. So we cannot afford to just give that much and on a on that long of a period of time so don't expect crazy multipliers guys mm. this is not gonna happen I, I'm, I'm, the, for I'm the fun week. breaker <laughs> it's times two for a week yes though. and uh, yeah. and people are asking for more stuff in game more cosmetics and everything uh, you know we're always working on stuff mm. uh, we're, we're not getting more cosmetics for Halloween just no. Halloween event is this no. right now what you see I think that's. I think that <laughs> what we brought is big yeah. enough, and it Con was actually really yeah. appreciated. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so. con concept team is on as uh, we've shown a couple of weeks back. The concept team is on more cosmetics, though. It's pretty exciting. Um, you can okay. Uh, information. Yes, you can stun Freddy while you don't see him. Yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. Yeah. Can you blind Freddy while you don't see him? Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> you you got to be really, it's really difficult, solid, but you, but you can. So even though he's, he's in the dream world, just like in the films, he can still interact with uh, reality or make you feel like it. Um, we have a couple of questions that are coming back up. We can go to the Q&A. Uh, a couple of interesting ones. Certain, I, <laughs> I just, uh, yeah. Okay, so a while ago you mentioned that you wanted to rework the nurse add-ons. Do you still plan on doing that? Yeah. Yes, yes. But uh, let's be honest here, it's in the backlog. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, it is somewhere on the list, but it's not put on the works yet. No. So, you, so what's put on the work right now is what you see on the roadmap. Everything else is on the backlog. And then we decide what we put back on. So that's how it works. And remember, there's the hack queue before anything else. So, yeah. Do you, okay, <laughs> this one was uh, qu quite funny. Do you think the uh, running on the top floor of Ironwork of Misery uh, is a legit strategy? Actually, we do not think it's a legit no. strategy. And this is why we actually changed something in the map. So it's right here. It, is, in the patch it is in the patch notes, it has been changed. Uh, we basically opened up part of the railing. Um, I'm really glad that Matt had time to actually do that. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, so yeah, no, it, it was not a legit strategy. It was frustrating for, uh, for killers um, and pretty boring place, mm. actually. Yeah. So uh, we did uh, fix that in this patch. Yay! Yay. Rejoice! All right, uh, maybe for, oh yeah, that's one. Uh, suggestion basically for the Halloween event to put you know, props in the maps and everything. Uh, of course we thought about that uh, and of course we wanted to have that, mm. um, but we didn't have the time and we had to make some decisions, which is why we had uh, an amazing uh, UI re rework. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it's one step at a time when it comes to event like this and uh, we're, we're Building. We're doing more and more, more each and more time, every right? year. You know, so. every event. You know, if you remember, last event was well. I mean, like where we changed in-game stuff was last Christmas, and it was snow, snow. in the lobby. That's it. Yeah. And, and this we time have you, have, have items, you have the items, costume, you have cosmetic, you have. Yeah. So, so 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 we're we're yeah, getting we're there. Getting you know. There. You know. Um, oh yeah. So we were talking about the nurses add-on. Uh, bonuses instead of trade-off, right? And yeah. the question here is, will we make any changes to Meyer's very rare and ultra rare add-on because they provide massive trade-off? Yeah. Um, for example, the, uh, the tombstone or stuff like that mm -hmm. takes forever to uh, stock, yeah. but it also gives you <laughs> like ridiculous amount of power. So yes, it's a trade-off, right? Yeah. Uh, we don't plan actually not anytime soon not anytime to touch soon. that. No, absolutely not. Will we uh, ever touch them? We'll, we'll probably touch them eventually. We'll never say never, right? Yeah, that's it. Never <laughs> say never. Uh, do you think the nerf to iridescent axe ed was too harsh? No. So yes, it will force you to, well, it actually doesn't force you to play anything with it. Uh, it's just that most people will want to add some matches to it. Yeah. Um, I think, I personally think it, w it was a great balance change. Uh, and if people uh, want, absolutely want to play the belts with it, well, you have to have the combo if you want to play it. So mm -hmm. that what makes, makes it still very strong though. Absolutely. Uh, so is that a final answer? That's what you said, yes, you told me. I, I, I think that's Okay, final. will there ever be a game mode like two killer versus eight survivor? Yeah, let's, let's say no. Let's say no. <laughs> that, that is not, okay, so I was talking to you guys about the backlog. This is not even on the backlog, so no. that's just to give you an idea. Um, what's your thought on active perks? Death of Heart was a great success. Don't you think adding more of them would add depth to the game? Absolutely. The uh, design team is actually uh, looking into adding more of these for the killer, for the survivor. I think that you activate, that you would choose to do a new action. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so apparently the new achievements are still locked on Steam. Interesting. So let's uh, let's let's take a look at that. After. Yeah. No, no worries. Um, setting <laughs> X totem by yourself with restricted areas. So basically, um, the X situation where uh, it spawns uh, randomly. Um, some people don't like it. They yeah. want to have the power to decide where they want to place yeah. the X. Um, in theory, it's a good idea, but we were talking mm. about time man management as yeah. killer, and um, yeah, this. Mm. I don't think this. Would yeah, be I, I know some killers really want to be able to pick their X totem and put them in their pocket so that they're indestructible. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I, I think that would be actually an issue having to place them before uh, it starts. Uh, it, it would 
take too much time uh, for the killer. Anything else? Um, uh, someone was so in love with the Halloween theme in the uh, oh yeah <laughs> in the game that they were asking for a toggle button. Mm -hmm. What's your answer to that? Enjoy it while it lasts. After <laughs> Halloween, it's going away. You won't be able to toggle toggle it on. There Sorry. you go. Take screenshots. Take uh, videos. Yeah. Love it while it's there. Mm -hmm. um, will random scratch marks be fixed? Okay, so there's uh, two specific bugs that we're looking into. Uh, when we pick up the survivor and when there are scratch marks outside of the range. Uh, so for example, you're, you have whispers, you have no one on whispers and random scratch marks appear yeah. and you're like, confused. Mm -hmm. Confusion. Confusion was on a tombstone. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so, um, so we have a, a couple of questions from the chat. We have the mods here. Uh, lower questions, which killer enjoys serving the entity and which ones reluctantly serve it? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, I mean, I would say that uh, for sure, the one you know that in real life they enjoyed killing, they still enjoy doing it. So Freddy definitely enjoys it, for example. Um, others you can see in their bio, or you can try to, um, to have a, a good idea of if, if they enjoy it or not. You can also look on their body uh, if they seem to have a lot of um, torture or physical uh, pain that was done to them. It's probably because the entity had to force, force it upon themselves, uh, upon them. Um, so there are the clues. Ooh, that's actually new. That's actually something I've never heard you say. All right. Um, if Freddy's carrying a survivor, will the awake survivor see a floating body getting carried? Absolutely. And if they get more read, same. Yep. Any chance for multi-directional hooks? Don't we have that yep, already uh, in the patch notes? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's in. Yep. There it is. That's the question. Um, hmm. Not sure if it's in the patch note though. Last week? Yeah, I think so. No, no I'm pretty sure yeah, I yeah. read it. It's in. Like right here. Ooh. We showed a video last week. Yeah, we did? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay then. Um, and then, Soul Survivor should be, uh, should be acting like the normal perk on aura reading. So if you're the yep. last one, you shouldn't be, he shouldn't be able to see you in the dream world. No, right. Right. It's, it's uh, working normally. Perfect. Um, oh, wait a minute. No, 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 in the dream world. No. Oh in, boy. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, no, that's, that's a great one. So if you're not dreaming, it's normal. But Freddy in the dream world will always see your aura, no matter what. No matter if you play, if you play Soul Survivor. Absolutely. Okay. So Freddy, there's no immunity against his power. Okay. So perks, I can understand. So this is that's considered his, that's his power. power. When you're in the dream okay. world, it's his world. Th he's master. Thank you for the. Uh, yeah. Thank you for that. I would have assumed though mm -hmm. that it worked. Oh yeah. Uh, is it, there is a bug for Freddy when you spack Jen? They make a pallet sound uh, instead will get fixed yeah so it's obviously not no so that's not wanted um okay you guys are asking for a cosmetic for a console i mean we answered that question ten thousand times uh, i can say it again we're gonna fix other stuff before getting new cosmetics okay right yes right uh, there's other interesting thing in the patch notes that uh, we should go over um, really quick. Uh, the audio levels for the rate is finally done properly. Yay! Yay! It's a small step. Yay! With that was a rate cube. Uh, the, uh, we've changed the percentage of uh, the will go bar that we give to the survivor if a killer drops them on the ground so that it actually takes maximum you know, four drop to be able to get away and not five. Uh, this was a mistake, we fixed it. Uh, we've changed quite a couple of different uh, skill check chances. It, all the details are in the, um, the patch note. Uh, when we were 
playing with Freddy, we've noticed uh, this important part that uh, skill checks were misbe misbehaving in some case. They we have we had different uh, percentage chance depending on the action. We kind of uh, streamline this a little bit. Um, fixed the there was a healing skill check success. Uh, the good one was rewarding you with a 1% increase. That was a mistake. It's back at 0%. Um, and the uh, blood loss level was activating the first one at 12 seconds. It was not meant to be 12 seconds. It was meant to be 15 seconds. So this has been fixed as well. Uh, obviously, I talked to you about these fixes because they change the balance of the game. Um, important. But there are other bug fixes. Uh, if you want more information, go check the patch notes. Okay, apparently I have a little um, last minute announcement. Oh, it yeah. was not in the patch note, but apparently the legacy prestige has a color change. Yeah. Okay, so it was Wait, not, what? I don't know. That's that's what I, I see. You guys oh, want okay. to mention that legacy prestige has been updated. Oh, that's great. Okay, so yeah, it's not <laughs> the patch note. Yeah, that's great. Good so that's why, I, I, that's why people are saying, hey, what's up with that? Mm. All right. Uh, we'll brutal strength and fire up stack. Like, are you gonna kick those pallet really, really fast? I think they do, but I would like someone to uh, confirm that it's the someone case. Someone like Paul or Bad, hello, mm -hmm. or McLean. Mm -hmm. They stack. There yeah, you go. they stack. Confirm. So, um, apart from all this, estimated time. We don't have estimated time. All we have is the roadmap. What's coming up? You guys. I think for me, I mean, do you have anything else? Maybe we have a couple of other questions that we can take. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I think we should um, keep let it short and sweet and let people go play with Freddy and Quentin and Batum. Yes. That's so that's it? That, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I was reading some questions. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can answer more next week. There we go. All right. Go Thank. play the game. Yeah, thanks.